Why do so many of us feel like we are not good enough? Why do we so often question our own worth even when others see our strengths? Insecurity isn't just a passing doubt, it's a heavy anchor that can shape our lives, holding us back from reaching our full potential and making us second guess our every move. Nearly 80% of people admit to feeling insecure at some point. It's a nearly universal experience affecting people of all ages, backgrounds and walks of life. But this isn't a personal feeling science shows. Our self-worth is tied to the wiring of our brains, specific regions, chemicals and pathways shaped by our experiences, our upbringing and even our environment. Understanding this shifts us from self-blame to self-compassion. It reminds us that insecurity is not a flaw but a part of being human, something we can learn to manage and overcome. Insecurity can silence us at work, stop us from pursuing opportunities and put up walls in relationships. It can make us hold back our ideas or keep us from connecting with others. Our minds become noisy, filled with comparisons and overthinking, especially in the age of social media where we're constantly exposed to curated versions of other people's lives. This mental static drains our energy and keeps us from being present, making it harder to enjoy the moment or focus on what truly matters. But what if we could understand where this feeling comes from? What if we could trace its roots and see it for what it really is? Let's look inside the brain and discover what's really going on when we feel insecure. Deep within our brains lies the amygdala, our built-in emotional alarm system, always on the lookout for anything that might threaten our safety or well-being. Its job is to constantly scan our environment for threats and trigger the fight or flight response just as it did for our ancestors who faced real life-threatening dangers in the wild. But in our modern world, the amygdala can't always tell the difference between a physical threat and a social one, like being judged or rejected. That's why a critical comment, a negative message or even an awkward silence can feel just as threatening as a wild animal lurking in the shadows. When insecurity strikes, the amygdala goes on high alert, flooding us with anxiety and leaving us feeling tense, drained and sometimes even paralyzed by self-doubt. Brain chemicals like serotonin and dopamine also play a crucial role when they're out of balance, our brains become even more vulnerable to insecurity and negative thinking. So if your heart races or your palms sweat in a social situation, that's your amygdala at work, trying to keep you safe even if the threat isn't actually dangerous. Recognizing this is powerful, it's not a personal flaw, but your brain's ancient wiring doing its best to protect you from harm, even when it misfires. Understanding this process helps us respond to our own insecurity with compassion and patience, rather than harsh self-criticism or shame. With practice, we can learn to calm the alarm using techniques like mindfulness, deep breathing or reaching out for support. But it's important to remember that our past experiences, especially those from childhood, also shape how loud that alarm rings and how we respond to it today. Our brains are shaped by experience, especially early ones. Supportive caregivers help wire us for confidence, criticism or neglect wires us for insecurity. These early patterns become the stories we tell ourselves, stories reinforced by memories and repeated experiences. When present situations echo old wounds, insecurity resurfaces. But our brains are adaptable neuroplasticity means we can rewrite these stories. By understanding our past, we can choose new thoughts and behaviors. We can start building a new, more empowering narrative. 
Understanding that insecurity is rooted in our biology gives us a unique kind of power. It means that those feelings of self-doubt aren't a personal flaw but a natural part of being human, something we all experience at times. When self-doubt appears, try to pause and recognize it as old wiring in your brain, not an absolute truth about who you are. This simple awareness can help you break the cycle of negative thinking. Mindfulness and deep breathing are powerful tools. They can calm the amygdala. Small daily actions like speaking up, trying new things or volunteering teach your brain that you're capable and resilient. Each time you do, you build new positive pathways. Every step you take outside your comfort zone, no matter how small, helps to rewire your brain for greater confidence and self-assurance. Remember, your brain is changeable. Scientists call this neuroplasticity. You have the ability to influence its patterns and create new habits of thought. The goal isn't to eliminate insecurity completely, but to learn how to manage it so it doesn't control your choices or hold you back from what matters most. Learn about your mind, seek support when you need it, and take an active role in your well-being. Growth is a journey, not a destination. What small, meaningful step can you take today to start rewriting your story and building a more confident you? Now's the time to act. Remember, the journey to confidence always begins from the inside out, and every effort you make truly counts.